Hey, what goes on, people? This is POW the producer. POW. You know, the GOAT <laughs> with the Geeks Music Crew TV. Okay, so today we're going to talk about hi hats. But hold up, we're not talking about hi hat rolls and all that. If you want to do that, you should start off by kind of just experimenting or practice. I supposed to be the franchise player, and we're in here talking about practice. Okay, so here we are again, reason 10.4. And again, recap. Hi hat rolls. No. No. Hi hats to stand out in the mix. Yep. Yep. Let's get it. Okay, so here we are. I've done just a basic hi hat pattern and a basic melody. Let's listen to the melody first. Nothing major. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to introduce the hi-hats and then kind of go over some of the things that I have in my template. And again, nothing really major. Uh, just basic hi-hats. Uh, it's like up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Just that basic trap hi-hat pattern. And what I mean by up, down, up, down is you can see the notes go up, down, up, down. So what I mess with in my template is Pancake by Cable Guys. Um, it's dope. It's just basically a panty effect. Kilo Hearts. Uh, I mess with their stereo and their highs. Um, this is another thing that I do sometimes. Um, I'll just do the note repeater to kind of help me. And with the note repeater, um, it's a, a setting in there called Trapper's Delight. I kind of like it. Um, the higher you go up, the louder it gets. So up here is pretty loud. Down here, it's low. So it's kind of dope how they have this set up. You know, the, the notes out is would be C3. You can set that according to, you know, whatever you want to use. But, you know, you this is dope to me because you can just kind of tap on and then just add a here and there or, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's nice. The one thing that, that for me anyway, um, that I have to do every time that I use this though, is I have to turn off the quantized notes uh, during record uh, or it won't allow me to do it. These are the, the major things that I use inside of my template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce each thing minus the note repeater, of course, because I already just kind of added the basic hi-hats. So I'm going to introduce uh, Pancake now. Um, I'm going to play the hi-hats, and then I'm going to engage Pancake. <laughs> engaged and if you have headphones on and maybe if you don't have headphones on you can tell um, the difference it's kind of dope okay I'm gonna take that out and next we're gonna go to the stereo for killer hearts um, the stereo is pretty dope um, it, it can add a little bit of a little bit of width um, to, to your hi-hats. Um, I don't know, to make them sound just a little bit bigger. Uh, let's get it. That's with, now without. It's dead instantly. It just brings them to life. With. Already is just cutting through the mix. Without. Okay, so the next thing in line here is actually what I consider the secret sauce, um, the Haas effect. This is dope. This this is a dope effect. Um, it do, it the Haas basically kind of delays uh, one side of a stereo field, so it's just slightly delayed. I'm talking about like a millisecond or something like that. I'm going to I'm going to play these and then definitely put your headphones on for this for this part of it because uh 
you have to hear it. So I'm going to just play it and then engage it. Engage. Not engaged. Instantly you can hear the difference. I love Haas. Uh, another thing that I do um, sometimes is I'll go to, I use the NNXT and uh, I'll go and mess with the sustain. Uh, the sustain can actually help kind of cut. Uh, the hi-hat down, some of that metallic sound of it. Sometimes I like that sound depending on what I'm doing, but uh, I'll play it and kind of mess with this knob. Another thing that we can do is go inside of the mixer. Um, in the mixer, you go up until you get to the gate. You engage it, put a high hat, and check it out. It softens it just a little bit. mess with the range the threshold and the hole and really you can get it to do different things I'm going to turn it off back on that's real faint the, the gate is real faint um, but again it's just another thing that you can use okay so basically um, this is it in a nutshell in order to cut through the mix you can use any one of these tools or uh, or all of these tools combined to make it sound better uh, I'm just gonna add the pancake and the Haas and uh, we're gonna roll with that I'm going to remove them also. It's dead as soon as I remove them. It, it adds so much more bounce. I add the stereo for a little bit more width. And this is where I would probably mess with the sustain a little bit. So there you have it, the secret sauce. Thanks for watching. Peace.